In this uh, screencast, I'm going to make a web service consumer. Uh, this web service consumer is going to uh, uh, make currency conversions. Uh, first, I'll make an ordinary Java application. Like this. So there's nothing special until now. There we go. Then I'm going to uh, find a web service pro uh, consumer somewhere, and I have one here. It's uh, from the plan. Here is the currency conversion service, and here's the whistle file that we need to put into NetBeans. So now I'm going to right click the project, a new web service client. If web service client is not in the list, you should go and look for web service, web service client. That's it. Then you put the whistle file here, and now it's up to NetBeans to get this whistle file, read it, and generate some Java classes from this whistle file. So now it's retrieving, reading the whistle file, and generating some Java classes. We can also see the generated Java classes here, currency, etc. So they are generated from this whistle file. Now we want to use this in um, this service. We can, for example, here right click, enter a code called web service operation. And here we have four versions of the same web service. I recommend this SOAP version 1.2. And here's one operation only, so let's call this one. And here it is. And uh, as you can see, we have some lousy, rather lousy exception handling. It's cats do nothing. So let's get rid of this for now. And we can home it. And then we have to say what currency do we want to convert from. And uh, we have two currency classes right now. There's Java Util currency and there's NetWebs Web Service X currency. This is the one we want. This is the one that comes from our web service. Uh, and we could convert from US dollar to and uh, and we are ready to run. Before we run, we should build. Project and let me run. So now my Java application is sending a SOAP request to this web service provider and it had a SOAP response back. So the current exchange rate seemed to be that one US dollar is equivalent to 4.9273 Danish kroner. So that's it. Of course, we could also put this into a graphical user interface or something more interesting, but that's not our business right now. In a later screencast, I'm sure I'll show you how you can make your own web service providers. Thank you for now.